Telcos have been updating the technology, of course, and that has a real impact in their uh, savings and in, the, in, the, in their criteria that they implemented in order to measure their sustainability. And this is multiple areas of improvement. Technology, of course, in the network optimization, but also in the buildings. Look at Singapore, how you have gardens in the middle of the buildings now. So multiple areas of improvement, not to forget the renewal capabilities we have with the circular economy, where we take back assets, we put them back into the market and we use less uh, material, which is super important also. One of the first topics would uh, undoubtedly be the shutting down of our legacy networks. Yeah, whether it's 2G, 3G or moving towards the fiber um, network. I think that is uh, something where we see the significant uh, benefits. Apart from that, um, if you look into this from the modernization point of view, we see also a lot of energy efficiency via the Amazon and the central office consolidation, network sharing, for example, um, rolling out 5G and also optimizing our network operations using AI, machine learning, um, that also helps to be more and more energy efficient in our networks. Success of energy arbitrage and green energy sourcing is of the primary importance here. That was Apple Door's key takeaway from last year's Telecom TV Sustainability Conference. The general movement to renewable sources in the electricity grid is driving success too. With CloudRun, there are the beginnings of savings through multi-tenancy and more efficient scale data centers away from remote sites. Dedicated solar wind batteries at remote sites is becoming very important. And there are some limited examples of sleeping parts of the network, but we're still a long way from truly dynamic energy optimization with SOL. Most networks are still operationally brittle and still actively avoid operational change. Uh, see, network modernization is essential for operators. By design, if you look at it, 5G is up to 90% more energy efficient per traffic than 4G. Operators deploy energy efficient RAN equipment based on the latest silicon technologies, zero footprint site solutions also significantly reduce energy consumption. So operators are also adopting energy saving software features such as massive MIMO muting, extreme deep sleep mode, which can intelligently shut down resources based on the real traffic. Last but not definitely not the least, artificial intelligence and automation. For example, AI can help maximize energy efficiency in the network design phase. AI can also configure and automate energy saving optimization without compromising any performance. Hmm.